Okay, now we've cut his angles. Next job is to shape these prior to rubbering. The way to do that is use a, a template. This is your corner, this is your middle. We just secure these on using a couple of clamps. Making sure we flush with the face. Okay, we use a flush cutting bit, put in our router and just follow this form. Okay, so we'll gently nip away until the form's full. Nice lead in, and with using the form, it's identical on, on all the corners, all the middles. And just also make sure that this is 90 degrees with using a, the router and a flat base, always 90 degrees. So when you put your rubber on, it's always nice and straight, there's no dip like you see on many, and there's no nose and pulling down. Right, on to the next. Okay, now it's time to attach the rubbers. We're using Northern Rubber. Orderly laid these out. Keyed the back of them for, for a better adhesion, better bond. Using half inch brush and contact 528 adhesive. Just a thin layer all along the edge down from front to back. Doing three at a time just gives us the right amount of time for glue to dry without being over dry. We're using Evo contact adhesive. There is there is other contact stuff out there, but we find this is as good as anything. Although I do use in a well ventilated space because it is potent. It's very strong. It's the same glue what we use for attaching the beds on the pool tables.
Okay. Okay, dried nicely, so I'll attach the first one. It's contact adhesive, so there's no room for it. It grabs and that is it, it can't be moved. So what I tend to do is lead in from the top edge to this down in motion. So it sticks from top to bottom, start from left to right. Making sure surface is flush. I'm just pushing around the corner, making sure it's flat, and then under slight tension, using your thumb as a guide, like I said, a twisting motion, just attach it down full length. Going around the corners, just push back on yourself, making sure it's flat all the way around. And using a seam roller, just apply pressure all the way down, make sure we've got a secure bond. Using a sharp meat knife. In a bit of water, just trim off the edges. There we go, choice from the back. attached right I'm gonna do the other two and then I'm gonna attach the support fillets and then shape the angles okay next job is to attach the support fillets uh, made out of chili wood exactly the same as the blocks these are machined down to 5 16 by 11 16 and what that does is then when it's attached up tight to the rubber, it gives us our inch and a half depth from top to bottom. Tolerance is between inch and a half and inch and nine sixteenths, but then we know where whatever cloth we use to cover the cushion, it's not going to be a sixteenth of an inch, so it's going to be well within its tolerances. So we attach this using this nail gun, at intervals just marked out with the bolt holes. Nice and tight up to the rubber. set these in such a way that there's a small lip between the fillet and the block that's because when we cover the the cushions all those fastenings are buried below this lip so when we lay on a bed it's, it's a nice tight fit up to the bed and there's nothing protruding to to let it let it sit off the bed and these are nice and tight up to the rubber so all the energy from the ball, what goes into the rubber comes this way rather than down. So it just gives for a better ball response. All I've got to do these is trim off. job is to shape the top cut and the undercut in both corners and middles. Okay next job is to mark and cut our top cut and our undercut. This is template what we use for the corner. This fits up to the edge of the cushion 
and we mark a line following the form. And this only works when the cushions and the slate is a set size to our templates. If it's any different, then we need to just adjust it either in or out, depending on the cushion size and the slate size. Now the slate size was bang on 12 foot by six foot one and a half, but the cushions are slightly smaller than, uh, than what we set our template to. So we'll just adjust it accordingly. It's just an eighth of an inch in. So we'll mark that with our square, our gauge. And then we will draw the line. And that gives us our top cut. Using a meat knife, dipped in water again, so it doesn't grab. Just cut back to the line. Like so. And that gives us our a top cut. And we should pop it in the vise and we'll do our undercut. Now this nose needs to be equal all the way, going all the way around, so we'll do a line at the bottom and then we'll remove the undercut up to that line. So that gives us a top cut and his undercut. What I need to do now is sand this back to the line, just using 40 grit and a block. What we're gonna do is just get rid of these knife marks and just sand it back to his line and that gives us a top cut. top there we go that gives us this top cup and now using a rasp we'll just nip away up to his line what we what we cut in it and that will give us this undercut <laughs> Again, block using 40 grit. 
just smooth out there, any, any rough spots in the wood. Just on the undercut here. That way, it's no way of coming unattached or dropping down. You're not going to get that dip what you see so many times. There we go. That is our corner top cut and undercut done. Same process to do the middle, and I'll do that next. Okay, next we're gonna do is middle. This is a middle template. This just gets offered up to the edge of the cushion. Like so, and we draw a line. Again, it uses his meat knife, dip in water. Do the undercut. Just move this round so you can see. Same again, this nose needs to go all the way around. So we'll mark it with our line. So yeah, pretty much same process as doing as corners. I'm just gonna take these knife marks out using our block and party grip. Tend to pull back rather than going down with the middle and that just gives us this nice curve in. medium rasp again, just nip away. <laughs> Finish off the block. And small rest just to tidy up. Thank you. 
And again, it's black just to remove any rat mark. are doing is just stopping the rubber coming up and attached and being pulled down okay and there we go there's his middle right all left to do now is to tape up and cover